Nice to see you. I'm your boyfriend, George Drake, said it is the CSA Week Canadian Screen Awards, uh, and all week long we're having nominees for you tonight, no exception. You may not know his name, but he directed an incredibly important film, an incredibly cool film, and maybe in a handful of years from now when they talk about the Canadian directors that people know, he'll be one of them. Matt Johnson will be here tonight. Very excited. The Dirty <laughs> is the name of that film. Have you ever seen it? It's a very... It's a very complicated look at bullying and more, uh, his film called The Dirties. I know Kevin Smith loves it, said it was the most important film you're going to see this year. Not that it's always important to get validation from people from other countries, but it's important sometimes to get validation from people who've done this before and made impactful films, and Kevin Smith is certainly one of those. I hope your day is good. I don't know how uh, prosperous you're feeling, but today we're now wrapping up Pancake Tuesday, and uh, do you celebrate? Do you guys celebrate? Yeah? <laughs> It's not, I mean, everybody's clapping. You just can't hear it over, although. <laughs> and I agree that when the day ends, it's going to be sad because Thursday just means we pour, pour flour and water into our mouths. I'm not about Pancake Tuesday. I'm about Waffle <gasps> Wednesday, people. <laughs> That's what this is all about. Today's World Grammar Day, and in the most depressing way, it plays into the debrief, shall we? <laughs> so not only... Are the Canadian Screen Awards uh, coming down the pipe? But something that is more important is that it's the week leading up to International Women's Day, which happens on March the 8th. And uh, we were talking a lot about it yesterday. We put a lot of stuff on the internet machine about it. And a lot of people are obviously in support. Every now and then, you get those people who go, Why do we need a holiday for women? Read the news. That's why. There needs to be a day for International Women's Day, especially when you consider this story that came out of Canada. It's 2014. On the off chance you don't know that, it's 2014. And the reason it's important to tell you that is because there are some people who don't know that. So there's a person, I can only assume he was a guy, based on his email or his note and his handwriting, but there was a guy that was on a WestJet flight from Calgary to Victoria. He finds out that the pilot is a woman. Her name is Carrie Stacy. Hi, Carrie, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, this gentleman passenger... Are you going to give him the benefit of the doubt? I don't know. I, I don't know if he's a gentleman. Here's the note that he left. Read this note. To Captain slash WestJet, the cockpit of airliner is no place for a woman. A woman being a mother is the most honor, not as captain. We're short mothers, not pilots. Proverbs 31, sorry, not PC. P.S. I wish WestJet could tell me a fair lady is at the helm so I can book another flight. Not impressed. Respectfully in love. David, or David. I don't know how he goes with it. There's a whole bunch of things in that note worth addressing. First of all, whenever anybody who is racist, sexist, homophobic, a bigot in any way, says something that they know is wrong, they put not PC. I don't want to be politically correct. It's important to know there's a fundamental difference between being politically correct and just being correct. It's huge, right? A woman doing more than one thing is just the right, you know, is the right way to approach life. You need more than that. Also, is the most honor? With all due respect, if you're going to be a bigot in Canada, you need to have your grammar down. <laughs> you need to have your grammar down. Now listen, if English isn't your first language, then you are excused for having poor grammar, but you're not excused for being a bigot. Or whatever. Favorite part of that note? Always goes with the Bible verse. Proverbs 31. Do you know what Proverbs 31 includes? It also includes, can I meet me on Bible camp? It says... Should I do it in the God voice? <laughs> Listen, my son. No. Listen, my son, the answer to my prayers, do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings, and then goes on to basically remind women that their place is in the home. But just know that that's in the Bible. Also, earlier in the flight, the passenger is reported to have asked if Carrie had the appropriate number of flight hours. She's been a pilot for 17 years. <laughs> 17 years. Carrie has since responded on Facebook, and it was amazing. She took it down, but the response was amazing. She said, I respectfully disagree with your opinion that the cockpit, we now call it a flight deck, as no, you know, are required. <laughs> <laughs> she went on to say, but the, but the flight deck is no place for ladies. In fact, there are no places that are not for ladies anymore. That is fantastic. For rebuttal, not just me, somebody who may or may not be a certified commercial pilot, but she is certainly a certified woman, Rebecca Kohler. It's up to you, Rebecca. Thank you, George. And thank you, David, for demonstrating that freedom of speech applies to all levels of thought. I've taken the liberty of writing a few responses to David's comments on his medium of choice, a cocktail napkin. 
And for his comfort, I'll be doing it here from Stephen and Chris's kitchen, one of the two environments I'm sure David thinks I belong. David, you said cockpit of airliner is no place for women. I'm gonna wager that you didn't like the movie Gravity. A woman being a mother is the most honor. We're short mothers, not pilots, WestJet. It's funny, David, I didn't know that we had a mother shortage. And actually, if you look at the statistics of single parent families, most of them are run by mothers. We might actually have a father shortage on our hands. So maybe it's the male pilots you wanna be mad at. David, there is some good news. Apparently WestJet has taken your concerns under consideration and they have arranged for a male pilot to fly you home. It'll be Denzel Washington after a few vodkas. So have fun with that. Back to you, George. Thank you very much, Rebecca.